freedom. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get to. When you reach the front desk, ask to see one who calls himself the holder of delirium. The receptionist will immediately spew forth an intoxicating laughter. Resist joining in the uproarious rejoicing. Uttering even a single chortle will spell your end here. Everyone in the building will soon join in this ballad of merriment, their faces twisting with a sick glee. You should see a hallway behind the desk that simply was not there before. Head down this corridor, eyes closed and ears open to the aberrant crackling that permeates every inch of this place. Continue moving forward, not opening your eyes, until you feel a warmth surround you. It will feel like the warmth of the hot summer sun baking your skin in its cosmic rays. Open your eyes. You will find yourself outside, facing an old cathedral. Looking behind you, you will only see a dark woods, where you can still hear the laughter of the receptionist and so many others. Head to large wooden doors of the cathedral and step inside. It is here that you will encounter the holder. Once inside, you will see something your mind will deny is real. The shadows will cling to every surface, writhing about and squirming constantly. The only light comes from a shattered stained glass window at the back of the building. Bathing in this light is a figure cloaked in unnatural shadows. Approach at a steady pace and remain silent. Any sudden movement or loud noises will enrage the holder and your journey will come to an abrupt and violent end here in this cathedral that does not exist, at the hands of something that should not exist. As you reach the end of the pews, the figure will stand erect, fully twelve feet tall and lithe as a long-forgotten corpse. It will open its seven mouths and begin shrieking a terrible melody that fills your mind with images of the void, the end of days, and myriad abstract thoughts so rich and vile the psyche of any normal man would shatter utterly. The shades of the dead will dance on the walls and join this vile chorus in singing the song of the void. Regardless of your will, the song will become a part of you. You will always remember every note, every nuance. Your mind and soul will have peered into the void. You will live the rest of your life in a brutal haze of emotion. No offense will be slight and no pleasure will be short of euphoria, you will be as twisted as the holder. You will know the end, and will be part of its coming, the ultimate suffering and the final euphoria. This song is Object 423 or 538. Utter a single verse in our world, and you will set in motion the end. 